Welcome to week one of isolation. Day one. So it's currently evening actually. I'm doing starting this vlog a little late because um yeah, so obviously everyone, most people are in isolation, but like I said previously, I've actually Kang and I can't really isolate as much because we still have to go to work. However, been a few changes made in my shift so it means most likely I will be able to isolate at home um hopefully see how long it will go but I thought I would you know like everyone else is probably bored right now having to isolate and I know they say you're supposed to isolate for 14 days but I actually think with the whole lockdown you just isolate till they tell you not to so Thought I would um, share what I've been doing during isolation. So today is my, I'm counting today is day one because previously I felt like I wasn't going anywhere but I wasn't really isolating because I couldn't really do it. But now that I can, I thought I would. So today I actually, so Isabel's actually been really sick as well, which is not Rona or anything, but it just means she can't really go to childcare. We went to see, saw a doctor today and thought we'll just keep her at home for a week and I'm not working so it all worked out perfectly in a non-perfect way but today I actually did quite a lot if you hear Isabel whining it's because her dad's gone up and she's clingy to her dad right now but yeah so today I did a lot of cooking while Isabel had a nap had to call a plumber a roof plumber because our roof was leaking and also yeah just had to take Isabel to go to a doctor's checkup because I also need to get her 18 month vaccinations as well. Um, and the doctor also recommended to do her flu shot. So I'm actually booked in another day next week to take her back to the doctors for a follow up checkup just to get a clearance if we need to put her back in childcare. But she had two injections today and oh my God, it was so sad watching it, but funny. Like, I don't know why when I see kids cry, I laugh. It was funny in a non-funny way, but it was kind of sad because she was actually really sad. And then she got over it when I gave her pancakes. So, anyways, we are just about to have dinner, but I'm going to show you what I cooked up today. This is what I made earlier today, bok ko, which is a Vietnamese stew. Um, I thought I'll make it to put in the freezer just in case for days where we don't feel like cooking. But we'll probably have that tomorrow night because we went and bought some bread rolls when we went to the doctor's. Tonight, Isabel and I are having some pearl couscous. Um, usually, so this is something I've made with salmon previously. Um, I've got the recipe on my website. And normally, I would like to make it with like a variety of different colored vegetables. But we only really had green capsicum, zucchini, pumpkin, and broccoli. So that's what I've got in there. And I'm gonna, we're gonna eat that with some grilled chicken. This is sweet chili chicken, um, chicken thighs with skin on, which I don't know why it's so hard to actually find chicken thighs with skin on. I can only buy it from the Asian shops, but that's what we're eating for dinner tonight. We also have someone joining us for our isolation. Not sure how long they're gonna stay for, but we've got my mate Primple growing here. Um, so lovely. So, if you follow my little smidgy mum life Instagram, then you'll know I do a little bit of making some felt food. Um, and since, oh, so hair in my face. Anyways, since Easter is coming up, um, I don't even know what's going on. Like, we're not really religious, but I think it'll be fun to really get Isabel into festive spirits. Um, but although she's a bit young, I thought I might give it a miss this year. Uh, I do have some decorations from last year, but I'm not going to go big. But I decided I'm going to make some felt hot cross buns instead. So now that I've got some downtime, I'm going to make three hot cross buns. So these are the colors I've chosen to make hot cross buns. I'm going to make three. I'm going to use this as the base and then the top bit with some sultanas and the white bits on top. Good morning, rise and shine. Day two of isolation. Just got up, We're having a very late breakfast. You could say it's a brunch. Um, 
Yeah, it's day two of isolation, but it's actually day probably five or six of Izzy being very unsettled at night. She doesn't have a fever, but she's just really grotty and snotty. And since I'm not working, I'm on night shifts. And yeah, between I think midnight to like three, four o'clock is like all the worst. So we all kind of slept through this morning. We're just about to eat breakfast. Mm, I've got some toasted corn fritter with ham and um, avo and it's got like kewpie mayo and chilli sauce in it and Izzy is having her peanut butter sandwiches with some cheese, yogurt and fruit. Right now she's really digging yogurt like one minute she'll really like something next minute she won't so it's kind of weird but she's got her breakfast I've got mine. Um, the agenda today is to upload my video so um the video that i posted last tuesday was a bit late because usually i edit on a monday night or a sunday if i have time but my head is like all over the place right now so that's the plan today is to edit some videos also maybe try to call center link um if not i might try that tomorrow because i feel like you can never really get through the line you have to call really super early um, to get in so I think I might have missed that boat so today trying to keep it low like expectations low so my plan is to continue making my hot crust buns and also um, upload the video from the previous week if you're watching this and maybe spot clean something Karen just came home with the goods how I missed you a uh, bit of a slow day, ended up taking a little nap, or a long nap before editing. Um, but I wanted to sh give you guys a little tour, or just show you my little study area. So, just uploading a video, but I just wanted to show you my little study area, which is this. Um, we moved here like six years ago, and this is one of the first things that I did. And I did this collage on the wall, and got my test desk set up, and then computer, etc. And the other day, no shit, the most random thing happened out of six years. Out of all things, this world, nothing else, just this world um, map picture decides to fall off the wall like how creepy is that it's almost like saying the world is ending <clears throat> so it's just after four and I'm making myself a very late lunch just some chicken soup with chicken feet um and i noticed that my potatoes are starting to go off so kang and i we've been growing potatoes um well i don't know why but like nothing seems to grow but potatoes um, and we've had these in for about four to, four to five months. Um, and we ate a ton of them the other week. But I had these four left because, honestly, we just had way too much. But they're starting to turn green. So I think I'm just going to um, try to save these and mash them, maybe make shepherd's pie tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, the reason why I'm telling you this as well is because I've got a so list of things to do while in isolation and one of the things is learn how to properly grow things because Bunnings is still open before you know lockdown goes even further I'm planning on learning how to grow stuff so I can use that time buy a lot of seeds and stuff and you know just spend that time learning how to grow things dinner tonight some Vietnamese beef stew boko and bread mmm hearty <laughs> So the struggle is real and 95% of that is not even to do with self-isolation. Isabel has been going through this weird leap where after she had a fever last week, she started getting a runny nose, which means the past couple of nights we've just had sleepless nights. And 
And yeah, so she used to be a really good baby and like sleep through the nights, but even when it was like an every three hour feed, like it was on par, I just set alarm, wake up, and she'll go back to sleep. Now, for some reason, she is up at four o'clock, just tired but that annoying unsettled cry and it takes me an hour or so to put her to sleep and I'm so not used to that so I've been getting no sleep I can't even remember the last time I washed my hair and she's just pushing around this stool right now desperate times come for desperate measures Um, chocolate cupcakes <laughs> made one without frosting yeah. for Isabel. Can you? There you go. Cheers. Cheers. Is yummy. This is the first time she's had any like chocolate cake or anything. Yummy. And she's smashing it. Yummy. So this is the Betty Crocker chocolate cupcake. So soft. Mm. Ooh, dinner tonight when Kyung cooks steak and wasabi mushrooms and cracking a bottle of wine tonight. Just a cheapy one from Aldi. Now y'all know I don't really drink as much anymore, but when there's nothing else to do, I might start taking up drinking again. Keeping the kids entertained today with some bubbles. You want bubbles? Feeling a little creeped up at home, so going on a little walk. Come on, we'll keep walking. Another productive day. Just wake up from a nap. I am proclaiming myself as the nap queen. I bought this jumper like. It's like a th really thin sweatshirt. A couple of years ago on AliExpress when I was like really into it and addicted to it. And I just found it. So perfect timing. But yeah, we actually all had a little nap just then. Went for a walk earlier. Um, it was actually the longest short walk because we literally just made it down to the end of the road. Like the street and back because Isabel was just like walking so slow. Then she cracked the shits when I tried to maneuver her around to taking up the path. Um, yeah, that little girl is just starting to get a really bad attitude when she doesn't, like, get things her way. But I do want to kind of encourage her to walk more because she's already 18 months, but she's not really standing and walking solo yet. She just still walks holding on to things. So I figured the more walks we get, the better. But I do now know, though, why it is essential, why going out for a walk or exercise is essential because being locked in a house like I'm normally at home anyway but being when you're forced to be locked in like isolated at home you start to go a bit crazy just not having the option to go out and it was a nice day today so it was good to just get out there even though it was like a really like short distance from the house um, it was still just good to get out of the house because sometimes staying at home can drive you crazy but yeah so it is almost dinner time so i already started prepping but i'm gonna do a bit of cooking today some asian stir fries only because i bought a lot of veggies thinking you know oh we're not eating enough we're eating a lot of frozen like junk food um and now i'm worried that we have too much veggies before they go off so i'm kind of just cooking it all um and hopefully it'll last us like a few days so tonight's dinner, we have some braised chicken with some Asian veggie. I don't know how to say it in English, but it pretty much translates to salty veggie. Eh, which is nice. I've got some gong gong, which is another Asian veggie. And then I've got a stir fry with some fish tofu balls. Um, it's got some green beans, zucchini and capsicum. Just a leftover of veggies, I thought it might go boiled if it's not used and some Chinese sausage so hopefully this will last us two or three days 
Rise and shine. It's Easter Friday, which means it's almost weekend. So, bacon and eggs. Maple bacons. Eggs, sunny side, kind of. Garlic butter and chili. Delish. Hey, so today is day five of being isolated. Today we thought we'll get our bougie on and get dressed up because it is Easter Friday. It is also weekends in my book um, because every day, to be honest, is like the same. And, you know, just to kind of get into the spirit of things, I thought we would dress up a bit. So Isabel and I have our fur on, getting a little dressed up. To enjoy the day we had like the weirdest night last night so I actually did wash my hair last night um, and then right after that before I was gonna give Izzy a bath our power actually all went out I have no idea why but I literally gave her a bath like in the dark with like a torch on which was wasn't too bad but my internet also dropped out for some reason not just Wi-Fi but my phone internet and it literally felt like a hundred years ago, like this must have been what it felt like with the Spanish flu. It was totally crazy. But it only lasted half an hour or so. Actually, maybe an hour after her bath. So it wasn't too bad. And then this morning and last night, um, had a bit of a house party with my girlfriends and my cousins this morning. And yeah, so today is another day at home. Don't really have much going on. Just waiting for her nap time so we can do a little spot cleaning around the house. But at least, you know, we're having fun dressing up um, while we're doing it. So today is Saturday. It's day six of isolation. I am going to uh, do a bit of grocery shopping today. It's midday, one o'clock right now. Did the usual for breakfast and Kang was working today. So he just got home. So I'm going to brave it out and go Coles. Well, not Coles, just do grocery shopping, um, get a few stuff and try and not catch anything and stay away from people. <laughs> so I just finished up my grocery shopping. Ugh, that was the longest grocery run. Like I get that it's essential to go out and buy stuff, but if they expect you to go in half an hour to go grocery shopping and back, then they are ridiculous. I don't know what they buy, what they eat, but there is no way I can go grocery shopping in less than an hour. It's literally like almost two. Actually, it is over two hours. I had to go to a couple of different places and I'm so hungry. So I just sanitize my hand and now it just smells like alcohol. So not only am I eating Coles chocolate fingers with alcohol. Mm -mm -mm. My shopping done. I normally reverse him for parking. I hate going head in. I find it really hard to get out. <laughs> So I know a lot of experts say that um, you shouldn't really wear masks because it's quite ineffective. Um, you should only wear it if you're sick. But I feel like even though I'm not sick, I don't want to get sick. And like I know if you're sick, you should wear a mask if you go out. But if so a lot of people don't. And my fear is that I don't know. Whoever's near me is sick, therefore I wear a mask. And I also primarily wear a mask is because it stops me from touching my face. Like I don't realise how much I touch my face, especially with my glasses, like popping my glasses up. Like it is so hard. I hate wearing a mask because I don't know about you guys, but I feel really flustered every time I wear a mask because I feel like I have trouble breathing and then when you breathe it like out hot air and then it's all warm under there under the mask and then it starts to you know any gap it starts to fog up my glasses and I look flustered like I look more sick than I am, I am. therefore like I don't normally wear mask but I thought I would wear it just so it kind of stops me from touching my face but the minute I take it off like I've already started rubbing my eyes and shit so I'm like fuck <laughs> but yeah Tonight's dinner 
we are having hot pot. Mm, the weather's turned cold, perfect night for it. And I've decided to take on drinking. Obviously, I don't condone it or endorse it. But in times like this, you know, we should take make the most out of it for our own sanity. So I bought purchased some soju um, and your cool. If you haven't tried it, I'd strongly recommend it. If it sounds freaky, don't knock it till you've tried it because it's actually really, really good. Obviously, you have to like your coot to have it, but delish. Rise and shine. Today is Easter Sunday, which means it is day seven of isolation. Um, today we thought we'll have pancakes for breakfast, start a new Easter tradition, which has turned out to be a bit of a failed, we've never really made pancakes, well we have, but like not all the time, like we barely have, we really make pancakes, we thought we'll give it a go, but it turned out to be a bit of a fail, some of them appear burnt, finally got to the end, which realised, yeah, should have, have to have it on really low heat, which takes forever to cook pancakes, so... Anyways, um, yeah, let's have some breakfast, although it's like almost 12 o'clock. So it's now dinner. Honestly, can't tell you what we spent the day doing because I don't actually know myself. Um, FaceTimed um, the grandparents for a bit and then put Izzy down for a nap and then I cleaned some of the rooms the study area and I think I might have yeah cleaned out some clothes reshuffled a few clothes and also made dinner so for tonight for dinner we are having shepherd's pie I also cracked open the pims um I think it's meant to be one part pims three parts lemonade but I think I may have did three parts pims one part lemonade um but yeah so we're having this for dinner and we're also having some shepherd's pie um, and Izzy's having some corn, served with corn and sweet potatoes. I bought um, sweet potatoes last week thinking, you know, I try to eat healthy. I actually don't know why I bought sweet potato, but I bought a lot. So I thought I had to make it, cook, cook it up. I just baked it into little um, wedges just so Isabel can eat and I don't know just in case they'll start to go off but that's for dinner tonight Isabel cheers good girl so just finished up some house partying with some of my cousins um it's pretty cool like even though we're all isolated it's cool that we can still catch up like last night we we're having hot pot and it was kind of organized kind of not and yeah we end up having it with um some of my cousins and my auntie and tonight i caught up with some other cousins um and yeah coincidentally we were both eating shepherd's pie so that's pretty cool but i might call it a night now and end this blog here um, I know I didn't really get up to anything this week in isolation. I don't know what I'm going to do next week, to be honest. Let me know, though, what you've been up to. Um, I think next week I will try to be more active. I think, I don't know how long I'm going to be in isolation for, but I think if this is going to go on for a while, then might as well make the most of it and try to stay active. So... Yeah, and if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace.